Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Tej, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how Q-Beats makes some pretty simple and catchy guitar loops and how Southside would flip them. I made the entire beat from scratch, so I'm gonna be showing y'all how I made the loop and added the drums. As always, I'll have the finished beat played at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around for that. And with all that out of the way, let's just hop right into the beat. So opening up the FLP for the loop, the first thing that I opened was this Black Hole Opium guitar in Omnisphere. I believe this is an expansion pack. And I went in and I penciled in this pretty simple and catchy guitar melody. And I made this in the F sharp minor scale. So notice I just have the same root note ringing out over and over again. So the F sharp minor triad consists of F sharp, A, and C sharp. And just using that, y'all can see that I kind of just crafted this same repeating melody theme throughout the entire pattern. I just kind of added notes accordingly. So I wanted these two to kind of hit on the first, but I didn't want them to be perfectly quantized. So what I did is I selected these and then I hit Alt S to strum them. And then I just changed this time knob right here. And that's how you get this to kind of be off time a little bit, or you can just go in and drag the note a little bit off time if you feel like it. Either one works just fine. And after I pretty much had the main structure of my guitar pattern, I just added a few accent notes here and there just to make it sound a little more interesting. And I routed that to a mixer track and I added a couple effects to it. The first being some RC20, just the default vinyl one preset. I think I adjusted the wobble a little bit by adjusting the slider up here a little to the right. And then I just put this EQ on it to clean up the sound a little bit. And then I opened up Contact and I got this flute preset from the Contact factory library. And on top of what I already had, I just put in this flute melody right here. Again, just using notes in the F sharp minor scale. And for effects, I just put this reverb on it. And then next I put in this grand piano preset from Keyscape. And then I added these bass notes and I just use F sharp, which is the root note in the scale. And then the second note being D, which is the sixth note in the scale, which is the sixth scale degree in F sharp minor. Or you could just take your root note and move it up eight half steps. And then lastly, I just added this bass sound for my drum kit and just copied the same notes from the previous pattern. And once I had those done, I rendered them out as audio clips, arranged the loop and rendered it out. And then I opened it in a new project file and I changed the tempo a little bit. So I just went into here and put it on stretch and change the tempo down to 161 BPM. And then after that, I just added the drums. So the first drum sound I got was this clap. I more or less just put in a basic clap pattern, except I just added this accent note right here on the and of one on the fourth measure, and then just changed it up a little bit over here. So all it is, I just took that same thing and just shifted it over a little bit. Next, I added this Hyatt pattern. It's just one of my personal MIDI files that I dragged and dropped in. And the next side of the snare pattern, I decided to keep it pretty simple. I just added two rolls only, and those were both using the one half step snap setting. And then I added a second snare and this more or less just acted as a perk. And then I added a couple open hat sounds. So the first one being this one, and then the second one being the same type of open hat just with like a bell on top of it. And 
And then I added this lighter open hat to layer with my 808. And then lastly, I added the 808 and the notes pretty closely follow the bass notes from the piano and, and the sub bass from the loop, except I just added this little change up at the end and this little note right here. So that's all I got. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you're able to take something away from it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more tutorials like this, hit subscribe. Leave any feedback or recommendations you have in the comments below. And that'll be it for me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.